What up, dudes and dudettes? This is Rad Mark coming at you live. We're gonna show you what's rad. CBR, Super Duke, pretty rad. Fresh rubber, always rad. <laughs> New Nexus signals on our Ninja 400, super rad. Carbon fiber Graves exhaust, rad. Laser sensor machine, rad. Charging an interstate battery on a battery tender, dangerous, but rad. A radiator, literally rad. Trophies, rad. Goat, rad. OEM radiator guard, not rad. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Build Series episode. I'm your host, Mark. We are back in the TST garage. And as you see behind me, we have our MT-03, which we are trying to convert into an XSR 300, which would be the first one on US soil that we know of. So if you watched last week's episode, we use some of the most advanced and futuristic design methods to prototype parts, to design parts, and to create parts for mass manufacturing. And we've even used them in this build series. But today, I'm gonna show you what you can do with a little bit of ingenuity, a pencil, a Sharpie, maybe a box cutter, and just some patience. So I hope you stick around. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at what I was up to two weeks ago and then catch you up to speed with today. This is super wide and it's a pretty small radiator. We have the R3 one over there. Mm -hmm. um, I'm thinking that we could probably get this like water jet cut or maybe laser cut. I don't know, I have a, I have a guy in Sanford. What's up, dude? What do you guys doing? Um, I was watching the footage from the previous episodes and like we changed this, the tires, we changed the headlight, we have a windscreen thing, but I feel like there needs to be something else. And the more I look at this bike, the more I realize that we should probably get rid of these plastic shrouds. This isn't doing us any favors. Like the pegs sticking up yeah, and like these weird like, fins on the side. It's kind of clunky and it doesn't really match us. So I think we're going to make a radiator guard. I kind of measured this out. So what I'm going to do now is actually take this off and see if I could just get like the rough shape of possibly the radiator. Well, I mean, if we're gonna take this thing off-road, we need something more robust than this. Yeah. It's super exposed, and I mean, like, I know most bikes don't really have a true radiator guard and whatever, so I think if we just put anything on there, it could be pretty cool if we could throw in the XSR logo on it or, or you know, come up with text that looks like, like XSR 300. Like the XSR logo. Let's get this guy off, we'll mock one up, and what is that, a five? Yeah. Two side ones are just for these panels to here. I measured it out roughly and cut that cardboard down to size. Well, I mean, we just need it for design purposes, right? Yeah. We're oh, not making it um, out of cardboard? We're not making... <laughs> yeah, we won't make this out of cardboard. There's these push rivets. Those could pop off, but this down here... I'm thinking if we just use these four bolts, these four mounting holes, that should be enough. Mm. Do you want to cut these tabs, leave them, bend them? Let's try and mock something up, get a prototype first, see if there's any any slack, mm -hmm. and then decide if we need to add in a bend onto the piece or if we can bend these or just cut them off. Okay, all right. I'd rather not cut them off just because this is the radiator and if we puncture it, then we're kind of SOL. That's not rad. That's not rad. A little under 13 and a half. I'd say six and a half just to play it safe. Okay. That should give us just this and now like I said, it does cut in here, so the shortest measurement is about 11. So 11 on the bottom side. All right. Well, let's get the like basic shape cut yeah, out. Yeah, let's get the basic shape cut out. Um, these are M6 screws. Not to distract you, but this is locked into the exact distance on center to the mounting holes from the side, from Interior. side to, to dead center, yeah. So what I'm thinking is just mark them with the so, Sharpie, with the dot. Could we just poke the holes? There? That's what I'm thinking. Um, we'll mark it with a Sharpie and then poke it okay. with, with this uh, push tool that I have. All right. So what we did was we measured the distance down and in. Uh, we marked it with Sharpie and then we're gonna use this punch tool to poke through and see if we're actually where we need to be. Obviously this radiator does taper on the side so we need to take that into account. But if we can get the mounting holes right, then that gives us a really good spot to be in. 
All right, so then we know those are the mounting holes. Now I'm gonna measure, I know this is 15 and a quarter millimeters in on center. I need to figure out how far the down. distance between the two. Yeah. And then- Make sure you go center to center. To yeah, <laughs> and then we could, we'll get this and then this is gonna get a little tricky because we need to be symmetrical, but. All right, so I think I got something. We know the holes line up. Thing. Yeah, um, no, that looks good. We got like a little bit of coverage, like yeah. kind of past the edges. I think that'll work. Would you be able to whip me up some sort of XSR 300 logo? Use the XSR font from the 900 and 700, but try and create a 300 out of it. Okay. Basically like whatever you create, we'll print up and then I'm gonna use a box cutter to stencil it out on here mm. and then give this to V for him to try and turn into a, a CAD file. All right, yeah. Cool? Yeah, give me a couple minutes. All right, thanks man. One hour later. Yep. Got it. She. Yeah, that's kind of perfect. So now what I'll do is we could turn this into an AI or an EPS file. Mm -hmm give it to Vicente and then he could superimpose it on in SolidWorks. Yeah. I think just the text would work and then we can just take it from there. Okay. So. We do have to make sure that like the text, uh, we're gonna have to put some breaks in here. I didn't think about that before. Yeah. So I'll it doesn't just, fall out. I'll have him do that in okay. SolidWorks. Right. So I'm just gonna start cutting this. So you can kind of see it in the rough, in some lighting. Okay, um, I see. That just gives us an idea of sizing and placement. Mm -hmm. Can you do me a favor? Yes. And take this and this to Vicente. Let him know the end goal. I plan on making this out of 6061 aluminum, probably like an eighth of an inch. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna turn this into an AI and an EPS file. He's gonna superimpose it in SolidWorks onto the piece. Tell him to come up with some design behind it for breathability and airflow. Okay. Are you thinking like slots, holes? I'm just gonna whatever. let him get let him get creative. <laughs> All right. Um, this is where his kind of engineer stuff will take in, and I'll let him design something. Okay. Take that to him. I'm gonna just clean up here, and just call me when you have some sort of design ready. All right. That we'll I can send to the machine shop. Okay. Cool. Thanks. Two hours later. Awesome. What up, losers? What do you guys have? What do you think? Yeah, that's perfect. Um, just send it to me in a file that I can send to the manufacturer. It, this is going to be laser cut, and I'll send it off to him, and we'll be good to go. Awesome. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Sweet. Sorry. All right. So you saw what happened about two weeks ago, and today's the day. We went back and forth with the local machine shop, JFab, out of Sanford, Florida. Uh, they do phenomenal custom work. So if you ever need anything, you're in the Central Florida area, reach out to them. He's on Instagram, JFab Inc. Check him out. I actually just picked this up yesterday. Um, I haven't looked at it yet. It's still wrapped up as it was. So let's go ahead and unwrap it and see what we got. Yes, yes, this is exactly what I envisioned. I'm not sure if we want to paint this or not. I think that we uh, are going to leave that up to you guys. So be sure to answer the poll in this video. Should we paint this? Should we go with a, a, a gloss black, a matte black, leave it just natural aluminum, maybe put a clear coat over it so it doesn't rust, no corrosion. Let us know your thoughts. We'll leave that up to you guys. You will be the deciding factor on what we do with this. I think we're gonna go ahead and install this. So let's go ahead and jump to that. Man, that looks good. <laughs> yeah, I like that. <laughs> Originally, I thought painting this black and getting the contrast of the silver behind it would look sick, but I think natural, it looks just as good, if not better. There's some overhang on the bottom, so if we decide to go with a Rev 2, we'll probably cut about a half inch off the bottom, maybe a little bit off the top and around the edges better, but I'll say for our first try at the TST radiator guard, that's pretty cool. I'd, I'd say so, man. <laughs> I'm yeah. pretty happy. Let's so more of these. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Be sure to vote in the poll on this video. Let us know if you think we should paint this uh, gloss black, matte black, leave it natural and just give it, a, give it a clear coat. Still have a few things to do on this bike. Got to figure out an exhaust situation. I like the high mount, really like a low mount setup. So we're still on the fence there. And we do need to finish off 
the subframe on this bike that is chopped. So be sure to stay tuned. As always, like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, turn that notification bell on. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment field below. This is Mark from TST Industries. Catch you guys next time.